Checking news around the world now. Britain's King Charles has cancer. The announcement comes a week after he was treated in the hospital for an enlarged prostate. Now, the palace says the king does not have prostate cancer, but that that treatment revealed a different form of cancer. ABC's Patrick Rival has the latest. Buckingham Palace today announcing King Charles has been diagnosed with an unspecified form of cancer. In a statement, the palace saying the king today has begun a schedule of regular treatments and that doctors have advised him to postpone public facing duties. The announcement came a week after the 75 year old was hospitalized for planned treatment of an enlarged prostate. The king spending three nights there before being discharged, seen here leaving with Queen Camilla. But the palace says during that treatment, a separate issue was discovered and that further tests identified a form of cancer. Officials not saying what the form of cancer is, saying only that it is not prostate cancer. The palace also declining to say what treatment the king will receive, but saying he will continue to undertake state business and official paperwork. Charles last seen Sunday attending church for his first public outing since his prostate procedure. The King's new diagnosis coming as a shock in Britain. Charles was crowned only last May following the death of his mother, Queen Elizabeth. It's also the second recent health scare to strike the royal family. Kate, the Princess of Wales, underwent abdominal surgery last month, now recovering at home after being discharged last week, but not expected to return to her public duties for several weeks. Britain's Prime Minister wishing the King a speedy recovery. ABC also learning today that Prince Harry will travel to the UK in the coming days to see his father. The palace are giving very few details right now. King Charles has begun treatment as an outpatient in London this morning, but officials say the king will continue his duties as head of state. Patrick Reval, ABC News, London.